welcome back to a brand new video. Now, guys, as you can see, something is a little bit different in our backyard today because we literally got 5,347.4 inches of snow. Wow. Now, just to show you guys how deep this actually is, we're gonna take Rex. Oh, hello there. And we're gonna throw him out in the snow to measure it for us. What? Rex, are you ready? Let's do it! So I picked up Rex and yeeted him into the snow! Rex, is it really deep? Oh yeah! So yes guys, as you can see, even Rex approves that the snow is super deep! And watch this! So I barely flopped into the snow! This is cold! One like on this video equals one prayer for my clothes. And wait a minute! Guys, off in the distance, due to my super good bird's eye view, I see my bicycle buried in the snow! Oh my god! Let's go rescue it! I'm coming! So I started running super fast and I jumped up on the giant rock and then I fell in the snow but then I started army crawling over to the bicycle until I got to it! Alright, it's time for me to use my super manly masculine muscles to pull the bicycle out of the super deep snow! So I used my steroid like muscles to pull the bicycle out! Yes, we did it! Now we're gonna try to ride the bike out on the frozen pond that is also covered in snow as well! So I hopped on my awesome bicycle and rode down into the pond on the super thick ice and I tried riding through it. But it was super thick and I ended up falling off on my bike. Dang it! Dang it. The snow is too deep to ride the bike! Oh. This makes me so mad! Stupid bicycle! Yeah. <laughs> ah. A few moments later. Alright guys, so I've been working on something absolutely insanely legendary for us to do out in the snow. And it literally took me three hours, seven minutes, and 43 seconds to build this. Korg, you didn't even build it. I did. No, you didn't. Why you always lying? So introducing the ginormous snow hill. As you guys can see, this mountain is super beautiful and luxurious looking. And as you guys can see, I put the snow hill right behind the van because I'm actually gonna be doing my most dangerous stunt ever. I'm gonna be jumping off of the back of the van into the giant snow hill and I'm gonna belly flop it. Oh Let's God. do this. Let's do this. So I walked towards the van and I took off my yeah. coat, threw it on the ground, and then I took yeah. off my hoodie and threw it on the ground as well. Then I jumped up on the van and just sent it. Oh That was legitness! That was legitness! Oh my goodness! Guys, that was so cool! I'm gonna go for another one! Another one! Cannonball! <laughs> oh. But alright guys, I am super extremely epically cold! I'm gonna go inside and warm up! Peace out until later! Oh. <laughs> The next day. It was early Friday morning. I had been sleeping for approximately 27 hours when what? I randomly got a phone call. So I picked up my phone to see who it was and it was random stuff. So I answered it and random stuff told me that I needed to hurry up and go to my parents' house because there was something on the other side of the pond that looked like a sign or something. So I hurried up and jumped out of my bed and ran outside and here is me pulling into my parents' driveway going super fast. Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome to today's main part of the video. Guys, I just arrived at my parents' house because random stuff called me and told me that there's literally something in our backyard across our pond that's literally been there ever since this morning. So we're gonna get ready to head back to the other side of the pond to check this thing out to see what it is. And it better be worth my time because I was doing some very important business. <laughs> But guys, without wasting any more time, we're gonna go ahead and head back there to check this thing out. Let's do it! Do so we started running super extremely fast, and I hopped on this trailer and then parkoured over the back of it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. Oh, my leg! Despite hurting my leg, I continued running, but then I slipped and fell. Oh, man, guys! This snow is super deep, and I'm extremely exhausted now. I gotta take a nap. What? So I laid in the freezing cold snow, taking a nice warm nap. 20 minutes later. Torg, wake up! You've been asleep for like 20 minutes now. Say what? Say what? 20 minutes? That's like a whole day. You stupid. Well, let's continue heading over there. Come on. Wait, guys. 
guys, off in the distance, according to my good bird's eye view, I can see that thing that random stuff was talking about. Look. Oh, my God. Let's get a super close look with my super high-tech binoculars. So I looked through my super high-tech binoculars and saw it up close. Oh my gosh! Random stuff is right! It's literally some sort of sign or something! Like, it looks like it might say something on it, but I can't read it because it's too far away! And it's, like, super blurry through the binoculars! But it's just such a far walk all the way over there! It's literally, like, five miles away! If only there was a faster way to get over there! Wait! No way, guys! Check it out! The beautiful, luxurious longboard! Apparently, this thing can right in the snow super well watch this so i walked over here with my skateboard and i threw it in the yeah. snow and then i hopped on top of it and tried riding it but it wasn't moving what stupid skateboard you're not moving this makes me so mad i'm gonna absolutely demolish this thing ah so i took the skateboard threw yeah. it in the side of the hill and then i stomped on it and then threw yeah. it inside of the ah. hill seconds later. Alright, but guys, I guess it's time to get serious now. We gotta hurry up and head over there to see what it says. And unfortunately, it looks like we're just gonna have to use our legs and walk over there to check this thing out. So I started jumping around and doing some epic leg stretches to get my leg muscles prepared to walk. I'm gonna do the splits. Oh! Even after feeling the worst pain I've ever been through, I got back up and started walking. But Rex was in my way, so I yeah. threw him out of my way. Yeah. After throwing Rex, I continued on my journey, and then I had to stop and get some food, so I ate some snow. That's good. All right, guys, we are getting super close. Like, literally, the sign or whatever it is is literally just right there in front of us. Let's just finish heading over there. Come on. So I continued walking. All right, guys, this is taking way too long. I'm going to use my super manly masculine muscles to run over there super quick like the Flash. Come on. So I started running super extremely epically fast with the super deep snow, but then I fell. But I got back up and finished running. Yes. We made it! Let's go! But guys, look! This is literally the sign or whatever that we saw all the way from across the pond! And look, it literally does say something on it! But somebody literally had to put this out here! Look, there's footprints all the way coming to the sign! So somebody literally walked all the way over here and put this sign out here! And then it looks like they walked this way! So I wonder who did this! But I don't know, guys! Let's go ahead and read this thing to see what it says on it! It says, I want Shadow signed Eggman. Wait a minute. Guys, no way. This sign literally says I want Shadow. And it says that it's signed by Eggman. Oh so Eggman God. is literally saying that he wants Shadow. Guys, if you don't remember in this video right here, which was literally our last video, we literally opened up Shadow the Hedgehog in real life. And we actually found something inside of him. And the thing that we found inside of him was literally an egg. And the egg said man on it. And so we think that Eggman literally put an egg inside a shadow so that he could, like, control him with it or something. Oh, snap. So, guys, this just proves that Eggman was literally controlling him with that egg. Because now Eggman is saying that he wants Shadow back. And so, wait, guys, does that mean that Eggman has literally been in our backyard? Because apparently he's probably the one that left us this note since it says signed Eggman. But, guys, make sure you go in the comment section down below right now and let me know what you guys think about this. Like, what should we do next? Should we give Eggman Shadow like he wants us to? Or should we, like, try to stop Eggman? But, guys, I I have absolutely no idea. Just make sure you let me know what you guys think it is that we should do next and we might just do it. Do it! But it's super cold outside, so I'm gonna go inside and drink some hot chocolate. So guys, just make sure really quick that if you haven't already, that you go absolutely destroy that subscribe button and ding that notification bell as well. I would greatly appreciate it because if you guys do so, you will not miss any of our future YouTube videos and they're gonna be super epic, my dudes. My dudes. But with that being said, we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with TORG, aka that one random ginger. Peace out. I'm coming video games!